everybody, welcome to Big Oggy World. Welcome to the newly painted kitchen. Yep. We still don't have a blind, so hopefully the uh, light isn't playing up too much in here today. No, I think it's later in the afternoon, so we're okay. Yeah, we're going to rustle up a quick but slow, quick recipe. Quick, quick, slow recipe, yeah? <laughs> it's, it's a very easy pudding, but we're doing it in a slow cooker. Yeah. So it's kind of a quickly put together thing, but a slowly cooked thing. Yeah, but yeah? it's not one of those things where you just bung it all in the slow cooker and let it go. There are a couple of stages that you need to do to get it to, to that get it to stage. that point. So we are going to do a what? We are going to do a... I'm going to read it now, aren't you? I'm going to read exactly what it says. It's a slow cooker chocolate self-sourcing pudding. I did think, I knew about the self-sourcing pudding bit. I was just wondering how much of a tongue twist you're going to add the slow cooker bit. It's actually from the BBC Good Food, so okay. it should be a good so recipe. It's, it's a, another slow cooker recipe. We've got an air fryer now, we've got a new air fryer, but we're still working on what to do with that. So we're going to concentrate on some slow cooker recipes for a while. Um, also, we're going to start doing some Chinese stuff very soon. We've got yeah. loads of Chinese stuff. But for now, let's keep working on some slow cooker recipes and some batch cooking stuff. Yeah. And more family more family recipes, really. So let's Absolutely. crack on, shall we? Yeah. So you have your heater. I do. So into my little heater, we need to take your butter. Yep, all the ingredients and the details will be in the description below, so this just saves us time to describe it to you. So you're gonna melt your butter in there. With the chocolate. With the chocolate. Which I've just roughly broken up. We're using um Taste the difference from Sainsbury's dark milk, but you the can use what you like. Sort of saying it's dark, a dark it? chocolate. Yeah, most, but most of these kind of chocolate pudding things always say dark chocolate, don't they? The only thing is, is that there is quite a lot of cocoa in it as well. Yeah. So I, th I can imagine it's going to be quite intense and intense. possibly. Yeah, intense is a good word. You know, a bit sharp, maybe. Not so this sharp, isn't, this isn't going to take long to melt down because we've already broke these pieces into fairly small chunks. Um, we have also already greased our slow cooker. Yeah, I was going to say pot. that's the next thing. So, this recipe is done purely in a slow cooker and will be eaten from the slow cooker. Okay, so we're going to come back in a second once that is melted and we'll crack on. Yeah. You there, love? We're there, I think. Okay, sorry that uh, we kind of rushed that first bit. I could have sworn I heard someone at the door. There's somebody at the door. There wasn't. There's somebody at the door. Right, come on, we need to crack oh, on with on. this. Oh, come on, roll hard and leave me. I know, on. but right. our chocolate is starting next. to stick. So, next thing we need to change to a whisk. Okay. So I'm going to do a bit of close-up work here. I oh, know, two cameras. And you're going to whisk in your caster sugar. Okay, so we use golden caster sugar all the time, but any caster sugar will do. Whisk that in. Okay, so that's that bit. Whisk in three eggs, so this is going to look weird. Yep. It is quite a weird thing because you don't really expect it to work very well in a slow cooker, but actually, slow cookers are great for this kind of thing. Like that. Yep. So that's kind of a bit of a gloopy yep. mess. Yep. You're going to put 40 grams of your total cocoa amount Yeah, in. There's, there's 80, isn't there? Something like 80 or there's... I haven't got the recipe on me. Yeah, 80. Yeah, so half of it goes in to this bit and half goes into the other bit, which we'll see in a minute. Oops. Oh, or or the half bit of that, it goes the, on yeah, the floor. Or half of it that Kelly throws all over the floor. Please note that cocoa powder is quite light. It's a bit like icing sugar, isn't it? It's a bit woof then, like icing sugar. Like that. You're rushing up. It's a slow cooker job. Don't panic. Don't panic, Mr. Rabbit. Whole another TV series. I'm right. seriously thinking of setting up another YouTube channel. I'm telling oh, you. Oh, for goodness sake, John! Right. We don't have time for a bit. Oh, like I that. do, I do. It'll be a cracker, honestly. Mm. Cracker is up. Yeah. <laughs> ask, ask me in the comments what the other channel I'm thinking about doing. Or oh, maybe I won't tell you. Might be a secret until it's all ready. Right, so there we got our cocoa in, and then the lap I'm going to change again. Okay. Because the next bit is you need to fold in your flour. There's not a lot of flour going in, but in it goes anyway. Okay, so right now it's like a really thick, really thick sauce. I'm going to turn that off now because I don't think we need the heat anymore. You're basically folding this in now, yeah? Yeah. Okay. 
turn and cut, turn and cut, right? Oh. Yeah, now you don't want to over mix this, but obviously you want to make sure that your flour is mixed in. So I'd say keep going until you don't see any more white. Yeah, good move, I think. Like okay. that. So this will be step one. This there there are two one. steps, two parts to this. And then what you're going to do now is you're going to put that into your slow cooker. Okay. Sound a little bit of white then, didn't you? Well, it's coming off the edge of the... Coming off the edge, but it's fine. So right now, it's just a very wet chocolate... Mess. Mess. Yeah, it is, really. Try not to waste any, because obviously... It's all good. Well, our it's slip all is flavor. quite big, so yeah. we don't want it to turn out like a biscuit. Okay, so we're back in a second. We'll put this bit down, we'll go on to part two. Okay. Right, ready, darling? Ready. Okay, so part one is in the slow cooker, the grease slow cooker. It's in the bottom, but it will still be the top. Yeah. And we're making the... Sauce. Sauce, which is going to go on the top, but will be, we think, on the, on the bottom. That's right. I know. So, this is the sauce. This is dead easy. The rest of the cocoa powder. Yeah, in it goes. You need to put this into a heat-proof yeah. bowl or jug. Um, don't let the kids do this bit. This is with boiling hot water. Yeah. In goes your soft brown sugar. Yeah, there are two types of sugar in this. We've had caster sugar in the other part. And then you're going to whisk in 180 mils of boiling water. Yeah, you are quite literally making a syrup ready to go on top. Get the whisk together. Is that the spoon's good enough? Yes. Talk to the big kids and don't let me ring off, off the yeah. So that is literally that. That looks like chocolate oxo. It does look like chocolate oxo. Right, so. Now, what you're going to do now. Okay. Is gently yeah, try gently. and pour this over what you've already got in your slow cooker. Okay. Just makes a big puddle. If you're clever and you do it slowly enough, that's exactly what you're going to get. A big old muddy puddle. Muddy puddle. Do you love a muddy puddle? This will be there called muddy puddle pie or something, isn't it? Right. Okay. Now, this is going to cook on low yep. for two and a quarter hours. So two yep. hours and 15 minutes. Fair but enough. before you put the lid on, you need to grab yourself a fresh, clean tea towel and you put it over the top of your slow cooker okay. and then you put your lid on. So that kind of seals it more. So it's even more steam than usual. It stops the water from the condensation well, on the course, top. Of course, yes, because the condensation will sit in the top and exactly. then it'll kind of slip and back Exactly, and then it'll go back again, into your cake you and you'll end want. up with a soggy cake okay. and you don't want that. So you've got- Although you we do want a soggy bottom well. on this. Yeah, I know. So you put your tea towel, which will save all of the condensation but make sure that the tea towel is tight so that it's not touching your mixture because the last thing you want to do is try and peel it off yeah, of the tea towel. Yeah, like a drum, you know, kind of set a yeah. drum and then put a lid on it. So, the slow cooker we need on low for... I would film that bit, but filming the back of Kelly's head is probably not the best look you're ever going to have. The problem with this slow cooker is it starts off at like a high number and you have to keep... It goes down by oh, it's 15. it's a reverse one. Yeah. Okay. Right, two hours and 15 minutes. Hit the button, Dave. Go. Okay. So with this, you didn't have to heat the slow cooker for anything? No, you didn't no. need to heat it. So you're going to cook it now for two hours and 15 minutes. Okay. And then you're going to take the lid and the tea towel off and let it cook for another 15 to 20 minutes with no lid on. Kind of and that will like evaporate all the rest of yeah, the Yeah, probably dry that top out. Yeah. Yeah. And it'll be like, yeah, like pudding. So you have a sponge pudding on the top and a saucy bottom. That's the plan. That's the plan. Yeah. So, so um, well, we'll see you in a couple of hours and a yeah. bit. Uh, the theoretically, um, you eat this straight out of the, out of the uh, bowl itself. You yeah. No way of making this pretty. We'll take a picture of it, but it goes in a bowl. You get a big spoon, you all sit around it. 
And you dig it out. And dig it out, okay? Perfect. Right, no problem. See what See in a couple of hours. Well, and a bit. Okay, so excuse the mess, but it is now our tea time and I'm in the middle of serving up a roast. But the um, slow cooker chocolate pudding is ready for the lid to be taken off and for it to do its last 15 to 20 minutes. So as you can see, there's quite a lot of condensation on the lid, which has been saved by the tea towel. Yep. So we'll take that off. Put it straight over there, John, because it's hot, okay? There we go. Look at that. One gooey chocolate lid. Absolutely. And now you can see the sauce has gone through. So now we leave the lid off and we cook it or let it cook for another 15 to 20 minutes and by then it'll be even more molten and we'll all burn our mouths but it'll be delicious. It will. Doesn't have to look pretty to be good. Exactly. It smells amazing. Be back in a minute. Right then Johnny, how'd you get on? Oh, that's lovely. I thought it might be. It's very, actually, it's really light. Yeah, it's a kind of a mousse. Sort of like that. But with a bit of a crusty but, kind of Yeah, more than edge. that. Yeah. Um, it reminds me a bit of, remember baby food chocolate pudding? Yeah, that's, that's what like I was that. hoping it was going to be like, yeah. Yeah, literally like that. Delicious. Um, wasn't, didn't take much to put it together. No. Few, few ingredients. Loads of it, certainly feed our lot. Certainly, yeah, stacks. Like, like I said, you could, you could basically just eat it straight out of this, put this in the middle of the dining table and do that. But obviously we're doing this for filming, so. That is lush. Good. Literally melts in the mouth. So, hope you enjoyed it. Give it a go. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video. If you've not subscribed, please do. It's really important. We really appreciate subscriptions. Um, Make sure you tell your friends and family, because that's always good too. Share this around if you think somebody else would like it. Send them a link even, that'd be cool. Um, come back and join us again soon. And also, don't forget about the Facebook page, which is a public page, so anybody can go along and join it. It's the Big Oggy World, or Big Oggy World, not the Big Oggy World. Go along and you can see lots and lots of comments and lots of people making things and there's more conversation going on over there. We're on there, you know, to talk to people. So if you want to chat, that's the place to go. Yeah, post some of your efforts. Absolutely. Some of the stuff that we do. And your favourite recipes and things like that. It's, this is just, you know, we want a community where we can just all go and have a good chat. So, um, like I said, I hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you all again really soon. Bye, everybody. Bye for I'm going to enjoy some pudding now. Yep, absolutely. Um,